So this is going to be a demonstration and explanation of how to braid a motor for a rubber band powered airplane. And we're going to start with uh, a long motor here. The problem with long motors is sometimes they can bunch up and put your plane out of balance. So we're going to show you how to braid to try to keep that center of gravity where you want it. I have two loops of 332nd by 30 inches long going into a airplane with about a nine inch hook to peg distance. So we'll put this motor in here and then we'll braid it up. Three. Now we're gonna take a loop and the winder. We're gonna put 250 turns into this just like we're winding up the motor. And now I'm gonna just put this loop on my finger, grab the other loop, and put in another 250 turns. Okay, so come and look inside the plane. Come and look inside the plane. And you can see I've got the two motors. Now, look up here. I'm going to put both loops on the winder. But now I'm going to back wind. I'm going to reverse wind. And I'm going to take the loops off and secure the end with a dental band. Now, you can see... I got a nice ropey kind of look to this motor, uh, but it's still way too long. And you might be thinking, well, that didn't work. But watch what happens when we put some normal turns into it. I'm going to put in maybe 500 turns. Okay, hook up the prop real quick. I've got a reverse S hook on this prop so that this long motor doesn't climb over the hook, I hope. And I'm going to engage the nason clutch here. And let's watch the motor unwind now. Might need to balance this prop a little better. It seems like it's shaking a little bit more than I'd like. So this is what you should see when a properly braided motor. It's suspended evenly between the hook and the motor peg. And uh, it should protect your center of gravity then so that your glide is very consistent from one flight to the next. I have a tube and tube on here on the prop so that the pressure of that braided motor is taken by the brass tube and the prop can spin freely on that brass tube. This is a nason clutch. My friend Doug Griggs has already done a video on how to make a nason clutch. I hope this will help you get uh, longer flight times and can't wait to see how this one looks in the air. Thanks.